Hello and welcome to part 20 in this look back at Resident Evil Zero. I was going to say we're joined by a special guest, uh, which would have been that giant locust, but he's no longer with us. Um, now here's the blue chemical. We need to make the sulfuric acid for the battery. Um, and just over there you can see a flashing bottle, which is the purified water, um, which you mix together to make the battery fluid. Um, and not in well downstairs will be the battery but unfortunately we need Billy um, to come and help us and I'm just going to unlock this door oh I was going to unlock the door after I've got this um, I just unlock this door oh well I will in a minute um, I forgot I made the battery fluid up right now I'm going to unlock the door uh, this leads back to where we found Billy with all the skeletons um, but we don't need. We need to get Billy in this room uh, to get the battery down because he needs to give Rebecca a boost to get it. And um, once we've done that, then we can head back uh, to. It's really now near the end of the game. Really, there's not a lot more to go. Oh, I didn't realise there was a file there. That was not really, uh, well, it's not an important memo, it just sort of explains that what, what Umbrella have been up to really, why, and why this place is full of creatures and zombies. And there won't be another tyrant fight. It, it always used to make me jumpy coming down this part, um, but yeah, he ain't coming back. Right, the drawbridge should be, well, the floodgate should be uh, available for us to walk across it. Um, and there's the big giant frog. Whoa, look at the tongue on that. Bloody hell. Uh, we don't have to go back that way, uh, so I didn't bother fighting it. Um, I tend, I, I've only ever really fought one and uh, you really needed a shotgun. Right, there's a couple of zombies in here. And this corridor leads to uh, where we need to put the key card to escape. Um, but we won't be needing to go that way just yet. Really, it's kind of annoying that the, you can't get the key card till like you've got the battery, and um, because it's a lot of backtracking, it's unnecessary, really. But you know, it's uh, necessary, unfortunately. And we now meet up with Rebecca. And um, we can now go and get the battery. Um, there is actually a cutscene after I get the battery, but I accidentally uh, knocked the Wii remote. Because um, I was using the Wii remote for the last couple of parts, um, and I knocked the cutscene off. Um, it's nothing really important, so you haven't missed anything really much. Here's where I actually, yeah, there. Um, it just shows a lo these locust things. Uh, it's coming through the test tube. Well, I think not a test tube, but the cylinder things that are smashed. And um, I do apologise for that. It's my own fault, I just dropped it. Um, and it hit the plus button. Well, I think it's the plus button to skip, I could be wrong. Hmm. 
It might have been. I mean, the way where I sort of dropped it, it and it knocked onto the floor. It it probably was the A button, to be honest. But oh, I don't know. I was kind of I was kind of annoyed really. I know it's a, it's a really short scene. Uh, it's not really vital, but it's just annoying because like I like to show everything when I do these look backs. Well, I say everything as much, you know, I want you to sort of experience it how I'm playing it, if you know what I mean. How I'd be experiencing it if I was playing it. Well, if you were playing... Oh, I'm saying silly things again. Right, now we can head back. Um, I'm, this is the part probably where I'm going to go and get the grenade launcher and some magnum ammo. Um, because there is a final boss fight drawing nearer as uh, this game goes on. I was actually going to do it at the start of the video, but then I realised, uh, well not this video, actually the last part in part 19, um, I thought, oh I'll go back there and get it, but then I remembered that you had to come this way. So I just didn't see the point really. Actually, I don't want to go this way yet, do I? I'm trying to think um, what I'm trying to do here. Because I don't think we picked up um, something. Something I've got to pick up. Um, did I pick the acid rounds up? Oh, I know what it was now. Um, I went to go back and get the shotgun ammo, but then I realised we have to come back this way anyway. Um, there's a like where the car key holder was um, where those three zombies were um, it dawned on me that we didn't have to come back we had to come back this way so there was no point in carrying on where I was going um, to get shotgun ammo so I thought I'd just leave it there it saves, well it doesn't really save space because all shotgun ammo stays together I think there's quite a few zombies coming up in a minute as well and they do randomly appear again I think There's the puzzle of doom again. Um, and this is now where we need to put the battery, so I'm going to put the battery in. It's really weird how well I remember this room with that, um, that fork lift thingy. It's kind of funny because I have the Marcus training facility and the, the bits after that I couldn't remember at all. Um, but that I just so vividly remember. It's it was really the same when I was playing Resident Evil 1 on the game, well on the Wii, but the GameCube version. The uh, first time I played that again uh, since 2003 or 4 possibly. Um, I just I just remembered so many things so vividly it was amazing and you have to split up to get this one um, but you don't have to press X, uh, X the A button or anything to pick it up it'll automatically do it for you or um, I think it's the A actually it might be the A button on the Wii as well um, there is uh, another frog can appear here but I'm going to try and go this way so it doesn't appear because uh, we do have to come back this way in a bit so hopefully it won't appear and attack Billy. It's looking good. Um, that's why I had to fight a frog last time. Oh, and then there's the front man of the butt naked zombies. Uh, they have such classics as Would you mind if I have a munch on you? And I find you quite tasty, but not in a sexual way. That was that was a really really poor. I just thought I'd go with it, and I, I really didn't think it was that funny. Um, but if it made anybody laugh, uh, yeah, um, that's made my day, really. 
problem is I try to be funny and I think it, in my head it sounds funny but when you actually say it, it's really not that funny probably I don't know yeah again it's down to what people find humorous and what they don't yeah right we're just gonna go back and get the grenade launcher and magnum ammo and anything else I've left behind um, so hopefully we've got enough slots to do that and because when I don't believe that one of them uh, isn't gonna need a handgun I actually don't think anybody needs a handgun past this point now um, but I'll leave Billy's handgun because uh, I quite like using Rebecca's with the little scope on so those lifts are so annoying if you don't get both on uh, the other player or well, the other the partner character will get left behind um, I might pick up that ammo probably won't need it but I'll just pick it up on the safe side well, we've got over 200 bullets, so I don't think see me using them unless there's a zombie that requires 200 bullets to kill him. I imagine the uh, final boss might take that amount of bullets, but I don't really want to find out. It's, it's very risky, isn't it? That, this leads us back into the elevator now. Um, I can now show you, because uh, I missed that level two, um, there's actually a little shortcut uh, through to the train. I, I tested this all before because I wanted it to run smoothly. Um, I didn't really want any, you know what I mean? I didn't want to sort of go through it and I'd get it all wrong and it's wasting time. So that's the only reason I tested it beforehand. Um, that's how I knew about the frog coming out uh, with the forklift thing. I wasn't actually going to put the battery in, but I just I thought, oh, we'll just see how it sort of works, and yeah. Um, if you actually come here earlier on, I, I'm kind of glad I waited now. Uh, there'll be a hunter in here, um, but then, as you can hear, there's zombies. Uh, so that's, that's a great... It was good because, obviously, it saves me a couple of shotgun bullets. Um, and some potential damage because they are deadly them hunters as you may know I actually don't think there's a Resident Evil that ha a zombie Resident Evil not uh, the the ones from 4 and 5 uh, the virus from 4 and 5 I don't know I can't remember the specific names um, but I think in every single Resident Evil where there's a zombie um, there, there's always naked zombies. Why do we need naked zombies? But uh, yeah, I, I don't think I, actually, I don't think there are any in Outbreak actually, um, and some of the other survivors. Um, I don't think there is in Dead Aim. I keep I keep meaning to get that game out, uh, not to do any videos, just to have a look at it really. Um, I was actually going to do Resident Evil Survivor 2, just like a quick look at it, just because it's quite a rare game. Um, but I just haven't got around to that yet. But I, I might may get around to that at some point, uh, just to show it off, really. Um, now I was actually going to be doing uh, one of my uh, 10 years on videos. Um, but that kind of uh, had to be delayed because of uh, some problems uh, with some recordings I did um, for this. So that won't happen uh, till probably, it might be Thursday now. Uh, might be, it could be Wednesday, but it probably will be Thursday to be honest. Which I'm kind of annoyed about because I really wanted to get that done today, but you know, it just, it wasn't, I have been trying to get it done for a really long time, but it, it just, yeah, it made more sense to leave it for today. It's kind of annoying because I'm saying today and I, I probably will. I'll try and upload these for to, like today, is in the fourth of September. Um, but it probably won't be. I think we've pretty much now got everything in here. Um, there's a couple of herbs which I want to try and keep on to uh, just with the final boss coming up. Anyway, that's the end for this part, so thank you very much for watching.